So let us quickly understand the elimination method for solving two equations in two variables. So these are very common type of uh, equations which we encounter not only in mathematics but also in, in physics. So it becomes very important that we know how to uh, solve this. So there are two uh, linear equations and in two variables x and y. So those are the two variables. And what we will do here is known as the elimination method. So what does it mean by elimination? Elimination means that we would be getting rid of one of these variables uh, using addition and subtraction on, on these two, two equations. So here what we will do is that we will subtract the second equation from the first equation which, which means that each term of the second equation will be negated. So this was a, the plus here and it became a, a, a minus. This was a plus here it became a minus similarly this was a plus here and it became a minus and now we simply do this operation 2x minus 3x so this becomes minus x 3y minus 3y notice what has happened here because we have subtracted 3y from 3y it means that that 3y becomes 0 so this this is nothing but plus 0 so we have eliminated y from this uh, equation essentially and this is 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3. Now of course minus x is equal to 3 so this implies that x is equal to minus 3. So in this way we have solved for x. Now there are two methods of going about solving uh, y. Uh, we can eliminate y uh, sorry we can eliminate x and then solve for y that is one method. The second method would be and that is what we would use it is our preferred method so we will just use one method all the time so that we, we become conversant with that. We will just substitute x equal to minus 3 in the first equation. So here essentially we will substitute x as minus 3. So this becomes minus 6 plus 3y is equal to 5, 3y is equal to 11 or y is equal to 11 by 3. Very very simple. Okay. So this is elimination method and this is our preferred met method for solving simultaneous equations. Be that in two variables, be that three equations in three variables. If we have linear equation, this is the method that we are going to prefer. Unless under certain special circumstances uh, that we'll talk about in subsequent classes, we might prefer other methods. Okay. So this is, but this is our default default method. So again, here we have two equations in two variables. Uh, here, what we'll do is that we'll try to eliminate x and solve for y. Okay. So that is that is what we will try to do now. So first equation is simple. So that is 3x plus 2y is equal to 10. Now in the second equation, the x, there is only one x, but we need to produce three x's and then subtract from the first equation. So what we are doing is we are trying to do 3 into the second equation and we are trying to subtract this entire thing from the first equation. That is what we are trying to do. And why are we doing that? Because we will produce 3x here and then once we subtract 2 from uh, 1, we will have 3x minus 3x. So x will be eliminated and then we can solve for y. So let's just do that. So this is 3x. Okay. This 3 multiplied the entire equation means that it will 3 will be multiplied by each of its terms. So here this will become plus 3 to the 6y and this is equal to 3 to the 6. Now as we have seen we will use the subtraction sign. So this is we are subtracting the equation. So this plus here becomes a minus. This plus here becomes a minus. This plus here again becomes a minus. Very very simple. Nothing complicated. Okay. Then 3x minus 3x becomes 0. 2y minus 6y becomes minus 4y. Okay. Uh, keep uh, track of your signs. Okay. Because 6 minus 6y is bigger than 2y. So that's why this will be a negative sign. And here this will be 10 minus 6 which is equal to 4 so y will come out to be minus 1 uh, again our preferred method is not to do elimination to find x but we will just substitute this y in this equation okay because this looks simpler in the first equation we have 3x so that looks complicated here we have only single x so that looks simpler so we'll just use this equation we substitute y so here it will be x minus 2 is equal to 2 or x will be equal to 4 okay very very simple now just let, let's look at one more equation here we'll try to eliminate y and, and see okay so here eliminating x would have been simple we just have to subtract this equation and we could just do it but let's just try to uh, illustrate uh, use more complicated way similarly here uh, eliminating y would have been simpler but we actually eliminated x and solve for y just to illustrate okay here also we'll try to eliminate uh, 
uh, y okay so we'll we'll try to eliminate y now to eliminate y what what do we need uh, we would need to convert this 4 and this 3 to same value okay the coefficients of y in both the equations have to be the same value and how do we convert them to same value we will have to take the lcm of 4 and 3 and this lcm is actually equal to 12 so we will have to convert these coefficients of y to 12 in both the equations in the upper equation how, how do we convert into uh, in the first equation how do we convert it multiply by 3 in the second equation how do we convert we multiply by 4 okay so because 4 3s are 12 and 3 4s are 12 in that in both the cases if we, if we do this the coefficient of y would become the same and then we can add or subtract as required of course in this case we simply have to add so what we are doing is that we are multiplying 3 by the first equation and then we are adding it to the second equation multiplied by 4 okay so this is the operation we are doing let's just let's just complete it so this becomes 6x plus 12y and this of course becomes equal to 3 to the 6 3 to the 9 96 and here what we will have 4 to the 8x and this will become minus 12y so signs are coming naturally okay this is a plus and this is a minus so if we simply add it will be done this will be equal to 44 now what do we have to do we just simply add these two equations so when we are adding it the signs do not change so this plus remains a plus this minus remains a minus and here is a plus here this will become a plus now 6x plus 8x this will be equal to 14x this and this subtract so minus 0 is equal to 10 and then 14 140 so this x will come out to be equal to 10 very very simple now we substitute the value of x in this equation okay because it has smaller numbers okay 32 is big uh, 4 is big but here we have a smaller number so we will use that equation substitute so this becomes 20x uh, sorry 20 minus 3y will be equal to 11 and of course 3y will be equal to 1 uh, sorry 20, 11 minus 20 this comes out to be equal to there will be a 9 okay and of course the sign minus sign we should not forget or y okay this is a minus 3y look i forgot it so that is incorrect so this is minus 3y or minus y will be equal to minus 3 or y is equal to 3 okay very very simple not, nothing nothing complicated and, and the, hence we are able to solve the equations now with this we complete our elimination method now as i said elimination method would be our uh, preferred method for solving the the equations uh, in the next class we will be looking at another method substitution method and then we'll be looking at another method which is a, which is a shortcut trick for all of these uh, uh, methods if you can remember the formula if you're good at that then that def definitely the shortcut trick will be uh, very very important for you so stay subscribed and if you have doubts or questions uh, definitely put them in the comments below i'll be very happy to uh, solve them for you thank you